Sky High Bridge Jump by Fisher Price. It's every kid's dream, right? That's amazing. Uh, you know, you set it up, some people even be, end up being addicted to it. So, after a whole day of non-stop sky high bridge jumping, after a while you're going to start to notice that somehow it just doesn't work well anymore. Sky high bridge jump! See, there's an addict right there. He's in a 12-step yeah, program. I after about four to 5,000 jumps on the sky high bridge jump, it stopped working correctly. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can fix your $100 Sky High Bridge Jump to work every time. Alright, all you're going to need are two tools. You're going to need some baby wipes. Because if you have a Sky High Bridge Jump, you probably have a baby involved, right? Mm-hmm. And some WD-40. And I'm going to show you how to fix this. Alright, well what happens is over time the undercarriage of these, uh, these trains here rips up little micro scratches inside of this which eventually ends up slowing them all down. So you don't have to replace all the batteries on your trains which would be expensive and annoying. You should want to take your baby wipe and wipe it down, wipe some of that paint and stuff off of here. Once you get all the paint off, you know, anything that's, you know, kind of greasy or gross that's on there. You want to take your WD-40, take your WD-40, you want to give it a good prism. Mm, smells good, doesn't it? And you just give it a light coating on the contact points on the ramp. All the way down and off the ski jump part. And that's it. You don't want to go too crazy or else you're going to coat all your trains in WD-40, which means, I mean, they'll smell cool, but they'll be kind of slippery and gross. So, let's read. <laughs> I show you ah! oh, oh, how to fix something. You're the best. Oh, no. and nothing's gonna ever keep